And one day I was at the gym and I was swimming and swimming and swimming and there was this big wall of mirrors. And I got out of the pool and I turned and I looked and you could see every single rib down my back. You, I had no breasts left. I had no rear left. You could see the bones. I used to be kind of broad and big and you could see my clavicle bones and I dared to look in the mirror and I saw I was like a terror-stricken deer. My eyes were wells of loneliness. And it didn't matter how many pictures I was in or how many stages I was on, I was so hungry. I was so hungry for, for love. Well, as I went walking in the park, there was this big white stone gazebo in the, uh, in the park in Munich. Is the wild blue uh, Danube River rushing through that park and the emerald green hillside. And there was all these people hanging out at this big white stone gazebo. It had, a, had an angel carved in it. And I could hear this guy behind me. He was playing the guitar. And it was such a beautiful sound. It was like the voice of an angel, really. It was so harmonious. It was so sweet. And I turned and I looked at him. And he put his guitar to the side. And he reached down into this box of books. And he pulled one out and he hands it to me. Das New Testament. New Testament. Take it, girl, you know. And I take it, I'm like, it's in German. What else is new? And these people invited me to their church on a Friday night. It was so cold in Munich. It was snowing every day. And I was, I was cold to the bone. The only books I had in my apartment were vampire novels. And I uh, went to that church on that Friday night. And it was warm there. People were all sizes there. They didn't care if I was a size 4 or a size 14. They looked in my eyes. And they saw my heart. There was this one girl, her name was Naomi. The second time I went to the church, she comes bounding from the back of the church. Jenny Fed, Jenny Fed, I find you an English Bible. You can read it. Look, it's in English. And I took it home and opened it up. It's good news for modern man. And these words became like communion bread. And they started giving life to my soul. I flushed my drugs down the toilet and I went away to the black forest and I fasted for a week and I read this book for the first time in my life. It was like water on thirsty land. It was bread. It was life. It was truth. And I found this Jesus. I accepted Jesus on a small hilltop outside of Munich. Just me and the mountain. And I knew he saw me. I knew he saw me. And I knew he loved me because Jesus loved the rejected. <laughs> he loved the forlorn. <laughs> he loved the uh, demon possessed. He loved the confused. He loved the hungry. He loved the broken. He loved the lost. He loved me.